Dr. Wayne Dyer said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at will change. And so in understanding that, what he's saying is we have to be willing to suspend our disbelief, to really open up our mind to the fact that there's no set way in overcoming adversity. There's no set way in being able to accomplish the goals that we set out to accomplish. And so in understanding that, I'd like to share with you a method that will help you identify some of those hurdles you are already facing going into 2021. Some of those obstacles you're really gonna have to overcome as you look to make 2021 a bigger and better year. Now, as we begin to move into 2021, having willingly suspended our disbelief and opening our minds to what's truly possible for us, I want you to think about these goals you're setting for yourself. And as you think about these goals, I really want you to think about how important they are to you. I can tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, those green dreams are very important to you and the happiness that you're looking for in life. And the reason I know this is because out of all the goals you have out there, you set these goals for a reason. Those goals hit your heart. Those goals pull your heartstrings. They connect with somebody you love, somebody you want to help, something that you want to provide. They connect with you for that reason. And so it's that important that you identify first what is going on with the way you are thinking, how you are performing, and what needs to go and what needs to stay. And so with that, the way we go about doing that is conducting tree shaking eliminations. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, write that down, type it in the comment section and repeat after me with power, feeling and conviction. Conduct tree shaking eliminations. And the reason you wanna shake tree, conduct tree shaking eliminations is because you have some beliefs that you've been allowing yourself to live by that must be changed. You have some attitudes and behaviors that must go. You have some fears that you need to address that are holding you back. Most importantly, you have some relationships that you've been allowing to continue knowing that they're interfering with the way you want to live your life. And so how do we go about doing that? Ladies and gentlemen, it first starts with the director. Tree shaking eliminations is a proven method directors use to build a successful organization and that performs at a high level of excellence. And that's what you want, ladies and gentlemen, and it starts with you and how you are thinking. It starts with you because you are the director. If you don't realize you are the director of Me Incorporated and that's your organization, you are understanding why you need to first start with you in this tree shaking elimination and how you are believe the beliefs that you are allowing to hold you back. You have been allowing some excuses, some myths, some lies to fill your mind with re as reasons for not doing those myths that I don't have the money. I don't have the time. I'm not smart enough. Well, I have everything I need in life. I'm good from here on out. And, or because where I come from, I, nobody's ever accomplished that. So I won't have, it won't happen for me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, those are lies, myths, and excuses that you've been using to hide behind. Stop hiding behind those lies and you'll be able to accomplish some of those goals you're looking to accomplish. Then you have some attitudes and behaviors that are being caused from those beliefs, those attitudes and behaviors that say, well, once I get off work, I should just go home, have a beer, sit down and watch television all night. Or maybe I should just go have a happy hour and enjoy my evening, play video games, spend my time on social media, do everything but those things that I know I need to do to improve my life. Then there's some fears that you've been living by, some fears that are holding you back, those fears of failure, those fears of what the friends might say, fears of what hearing somebody say no, that you're not good enough, fears that somebody will say, hey, it's never going to happen for you. And it's, it's just something you're wasting your, your time on. Well, you need to eliminate those, ladies and gentlemen. And then you have those, you have those relationships that you got to get rid of. There's some relationships that you've been allowing to hold you back. Those relationships that are negative, that constantly bring you down. People who are talking about you behind your back. People who are telling you you're too dumb, you're not smart enough, you don't look good enough. People who are telling you that it'll never happen, that you need to face reality and that this is all you'll ever be able to do. And then those people who are sucking up all your time. You got to get rid of those individuals, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you get rid of them all the way. You have to decide on if you get rid of them completely or if you just push them aside and just focus on what it is you got to do. But I know that if you focus on what it is you got to do, you'll be able to accomplish some things. Why? Because you will have made the decision to keep pushing. And that's important as well. Many, many times when you fall to these beliefs, attitudes and behaviors, 
fears and relationships, you fail to keep pushing. Keeping pushing is important because by doing that, you keep hope that it's gonna happen. You keep hope, you keep opportunity open for you. Those opportunities that are out there only if you keep pushing and start preparing yourself. An opportunity is only an opportunity if you are prepared when you and that opportunity collide. You will never be able to move forward if you don't just keep pushing. Not continuing to push means that you've given up on something that you know is important to you because you chose it in your heart. You know that's what you want in your life and you've chosen that. So keep pushing for it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll leave you with this. Great, great things are out there. The great opportunities that you are facing right now are only opportunities if you keep pushing. But you got to be willing to shake that tree. And if you aren't willing to shake that tree, that means that you're willing to turn to those loved ones that you're living in the house with or that you see on a daily day basis and say, I'm not willing to shake my tree and accomplish the things that I need to accomplish to take care of you and provide for you in a manner that I want you to live. So in doing that, I guarantee you, if you would not be able to sleep at night, those are the reasons that you're finding yourself depressed. So stop holding yourself back. Shake the tree and just keep pushing. I'm Eric Collier. Great things are happening today, but only for those who just keep pushing.